So, to skill traits in sports. Um, I've, I've linked for, for the first one I've chosen is controlled breathing. Now, this can be applied to every single sport. So whether it be boxing, you don't want to get winded, because that's a fight over. Swimming, potential death, drowning, that's you don't want that. Um, but say for Olympic lifting, if you're breathing out at the end of each rep, like, that's, you're going to get, this a lot you're going to get more efficiency. Um, so for this number two, I've chosen timing. So whether that's rest periods, like you've got to be spot on with like in between sets, or if it's keeping up with the stroke rate, like during for rowing. Because if you can't keep up, or it's too slow or too quick, you're going to put the whole boat out of sync, which again, you're going to like, cause like slow sort of the boat to slow down. Um, so for balance that's gonna come under a lot that can come under a lot of things. Even if it's in the gym, you're doing lunges and your balance is really, really off, potential injury risk or falling over or not getting the most out of it. Same as a squat, if you've got a heavy weight above your head, that is not ideal. Um, but mainly for rowing, so say if, especially if it's one blade. As you come forward, the blade, you've got to be in sync. So if you're not doing that, and one person's slightly above the other, then the boat's gonna tip either side, all the other people's blades are gonna hit the water and slow the boat down, and yeah, seconds counting, those kind of things. Um, for the number four, I chose coordination. Because um, if you're coordinated in most sports, you can get by if you've got really bad coordination overall it's likely that especially in team sports you're not going to do very well um, you can kind of link this to bodybuilding with the mind and muscle connection because if you're intending to do a bicep curl but you're actually using your back your shoulder to get the weight up then that goes down to efficiency again